I just went to the grave. I'm in the cemetery. I went to the cemetery. I'm praying, or I'm trying to pray. I was going to pray. I was feeding the birds. Some numpty with his wife let off a hundred fireworks, a hundred fireworks right above my head, like 30 feet above my head, 30 feet above my head. Boom, 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 like nonstop for like two minutes. I was covering my ears like this. My trousers were going to, were almost slipping down. My trousers were almost slipping down. And I ran to the car. I, I, was trying to, I was trying to get to the car, but I couldn't get to the car because there's just fireworks everywhere above my head. And it went on for like two minutes. It's a long time. And it's boom, 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 boom. And I'm trying, I, if, I, if I open the car door with my hand, I'm going to have to take my hand away from the ear and I'm going to get it worse. And I've got tinnitus. I've got tinnitus. Now my tinnitus is ringing very badly. So now I phoned the police. Maybe I'm a grass, but I phoned the police. Then they phoned me back like an hour later to say, oh no, you... We, we, we ne- the police never saw him do the fireworks, so we can't do anything about it. And I said, well, why have I got elevated tinnitus for the rest of my life? Oh, it doesn't matter. You, you, you've self-diagnosed yourself. You don't know. What happens, I got, what happens my tinnitus is now escalated for the rest of my life? If you have tinnitus and your ears get more damaged, the tinnitus will be worse. The ringing, you know, instead, instead, instead of, it's going to be in your ear all the time, yeah? So I said, can I, can, can, can I, you know, I'm, I'm, vic- I'm a victim of that now. I've got like a wounding in my ear now. You know, I've got like an elevated tinnitus. Can can the police like prosecute him? No, you can't prosecute him. And he says, you can't sue him either. She's not a lawyer. Police control, police control. You can't sue him either. So someone can just let off 100 fireworks next to my ear without any warning, no apology, elevate my tinnitus for the rest of my life, make my life a thousand times worse. So for the rest of my life, all I hear is in my ear all the time. And I'm not allowed to, and the, and the police aren't going to do anything about it. You can't, you can't, apparently you can't sue him and the police aren't going to prosecute him. And I have to live with this tinnitus for the rest of my life now. And then I said, my trousers were slipping down and I was covering my ears, right? And I was trying to get to the car, but my trousers were slipping down. My tracksuit pants were slipping down and I was trying to get to the car. And simultaneously, if I was trying to walk to the car, my tracksuit pants were slipping down. And simultaneously, I was trying to, I can't open the car door because I, because when I take my hand away from the car, from the, my ear, then the, they will bang in my ear, won't it? You know what the police woman says? She says, on the phone, she says, oh, if you walk towards them and your trousers slip down, it will be indecent, in, indecent exposure. It's not indecent exposure. I'm at the cemetery trying to pray, and some guy lit off 100 fireworks near my ear when I didn't see it. I'm just standing there, the next thing, boom, 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 I'm covering my ears. I'm panicking. Should I run that way? Should I run that way? Should I try and make it back to the car? My trousers are about to fall down. I can't open the car door handle because if I open the car door handle, I've got to pull my ears, pull my hand away from my ears. I'm in a quiet cemetery. I'm trying to make this video and then every single fucking person has to drive past me. Everybody has to drive past me. So at the end of the day, um, the police aren't going to find him. They're just going to make, they may phone him and speak to him. Or they may just tell them, you know, you, you can, how can you let a hundred fireworks off someone's head? And it's 30 feet, 20 or 30 feet. It's not, a, it's not 200 feet in the air. It's like 20 or 30 feet above my head. And I just turn around. It's just this sea of like gold, yellow explosions. I've never heard in my life, apart from like New Year's Day, I've never seen in my life such a long protracted explosions. Boom, 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 Like nonstop. I'm like, uh, I've got tinnitus. If I've never had tinnitus, I don't care. You know, you can throw a firework in my arm. You can take a firework and burn my hand. I don't care. I don't care. But my ears, i got whistling. If any loud noise can make my tinnitus permanently worse. Instead of, it'd be, imagine that, like, and now all of a sudden, and, the, and I told the police woman that she says, oh, don't do that on the phone because I'm hurting her ears. Sweetheart, I have to have that fucking for the rest of my life. You worried about me doing it on the fucking phone for, for two seconds. I've got to have that in my fucking ear for the rest of my life now. The first thing I'm going to hear in the morning is <laughs> the whole fucking day because that cunt let off, pardon my language, that guy let off a firework. I should have went there and confronted him. I thought it'd be clever. I called the police, do everything legally. It doesn't work. And it's just, if, if I'd walked towards him to tell him, to stop the fireworks and my trousers have fallen down, it would be indecent exposure. It's not indecent exposure. My tracksuit pants are loose and I'm having to cover my ears. I can't hold my tracksuit pants up. You know what I mean? The police are used to that. And when, when, the, when, the, when the guy tortured my mother every day and night with a washing machine for three years, she couldn't sleep and it gave me burning headaches and it caused the blood in my head to pound through my head very hard and it gave me an inflamed brain and I had a, I've still got a burning in my head a year later after my mother died. 
So for three years, I've got this, this burning in the headache. I asked the guy to fix the machine for one year. He pounded the machine. My mother couldn't sleep. She couldn't think. She couldn't rest. I couldn't sleep. I had to sleep in my car. I had to sleep in a hostel. I couldn't look after my mother. She's dying of cancer. And then she got even worse cancer. And I had to sleep in my car every night. And she had to lie there the whole night getting tortured and pounded. And I was too stupid and too weak. Too much of an idiot to get my mother another flat. I couldn't get another flat. It's so hard to get a lease here. And I, I didn't have enough money. I thought I had to give six months rent up front. And, I tr and, 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 and I've got burning headache for the rest of my life. And the police don't care. No, he's allowed to do it. He's allowed to do it. My mother got tortured to death every day and night. I've got another channel about that. She got tortured to death every day and night. Imagine this in your head all the time. Imagine your blood pounding like this all the time in your head from the vibration of the washing machine. It's pounding, pounding, pounding through your body. 23, 24 hours a day. My mother couldn't take it. And she had to suffer that while she died. And she had brain cancer. So her brain was inflamed as well. And it was a lockdown. So she couldn't leave. And also she was nervous to leave. And I couldn't get a fucking a flat somewhere else. I wish I could have got a flat somewhere else. She wouldn't come to the, she wouldn't come to the hostel old lady getting tortured to death day and night police did nothing they don't give a fuck and i got brain damage from that i may even die of a brain hemorrhage no police don't care no it's fine the guy can give you a burning headache for the rest of your life he can brain damage you he can torture your mother to death 